Good evening. Six years after 10 year old Victoria Martins was murdered and dismembered at a West Side apartment, one of the suspects, Fabian Gonzalez, is finally standing trial. This case is about the defendant creating a danger that resulted in Victoria's death and his participation in covering up that crime. In August of 2016, police found Victoria Martin's remains burning in the bathtub of an apartment near Golf Course in Irving. Victoria's mother, Michelle Martin's, Gonzalez, and his cousin, Jessica Kelly, were first charged with murder. The DA said evidence, though, showed the three did not actually kill the girl, saying there was a fourth unidentified suspect. This week, Gonzalez is being tried on charges of reckless child abuse resulting in death and tampering with evidence. The prosecution is arguing that Gonzalez created a dangerous environment by leaving Victoria alone with his cousin Kelly, who they described as a paranoid meth user just out of prison. And in just the last hour, an emotional Jessica Kelly briefly took the stand before the judge called it a day. Let's get to News 13's Ariana Kraft right now with the very latest. She's downtown at District Court. Jessica Kelly has already taken a plea deal in the case after telling prosecutors that a strange man came into the apartment that night and killed Victoria to get back at Fabian Gonzalez for something. Part of that deal, Kelly agreed to testify against her cousin. You seem a little emotional. Is it hard to be here today? Yeah. Why is it hard? So it's my cousin. <laughs> Why is it hard to testify against your cousin? Because I grew up with him. I, I love him. Kelly took the stand crying. Prosecutors had her walk them through the first days after she got out of prison back in 2016, the week before Victoria was killed. The DA's office claims Gonzalez and Martins were out getting meth while Victoria was left alone on her birthday with Kelly when she was strangled by an unidentified man looking for Gonzalez. But the defense claims Kelly tried to dispose of the body alone, that Gonzalez and Victoria's mother were asleep the whole time and never even knew Victoria had been killed earlier in the evening. Evening. On the stand, Kelly quickly painted a picture of Gonzalez being a bad influence on the family, describing how that first night out of prison, Michelle Martins and Victoria came to pick them up at the Downs Casino at midnight. As I was talking and I was about ready to get in the car, um, Fabian was breaking into cars and a guard came up and told him something. I was like, let's just go get out of here. You know what I mean? Like, I just got out of prison. We can't be doing this. Kelly will resume her testimony in the morning. Then the defense will make a run at her. In opening statements this morning, the defense already laid out an argument that Kelly made the whole story up for a plea deal where she'll only have to serve 22 years with good time. Prosecutors have also argued that just by bringing Kelly into the home, Gonzalez made um, put Victoria Martins in danger. Back to you. Oriana, thank you. Michelle Martins is also expected to testify against Gonzalez. She faces between 12 and 15 years in prison from her plea deal when she is sentenced after testifying.